Hello viewers! Since I have a microtonal Halberstadt keyboard, I'm creating scale videos for equal temperaments 11 to 19, since these are small enough to be played similarly to standard tuning. Each equal temperament has its own video, and goes over two full scales in every key. I present what I think the most logical fingerings are, based on various criteria. My goals were to try and preserve fingerings from standard 12 equal tuning, to make logical decisions about scales that are in uncharted territory technique-wise, and to create similar fingerings for all scales, so that less has to be learned. If you're a piano player, and these scales don't make sense to you, I recommend you look at the 12 equal video I did on this to compare conventions and naming schemes. In new situations involving crossing the thumb to black keys, which is sometimes necessary in these new layouts, I stuck to two main principles. Firstly, when crossing with the thumb, I only go from a black key to a black key. It's much easier to cross from a black key to an adjacent black key than to cross to a black key from a white key. In non-diatonic, non-heptatonic scales featuring white keys, I have tried to cross black keys using finger 2 when possible. It's simply much less awkward because the hand doesn't have to scrunch up as much for the cross, and so it can afford to be less precise. In 17-tone equal temperament, though, not only are all of the scales I've explored here heptatonic, but there are also some that use all black keys. In the diatonic scales with all black keys, I have to change my strategy not only because there are only black keys, but also because traditional diatonic fingering uses a group of three and a group of four. This 3 and 4 grouping is more important to stick to than crossing to a black key on 2, so the strategy for these scales is to make sure that the cross simply doesn't happen over a whole step, usually. It's much easier to cross to a black key a half step away than one a whole step away in these scales. Regardless, playing scales legato is difficult and awkward. The diatonic scales that use only black keys in 17 equal are C-sharp, G-sharp, D-sharp, and A-sharp. If you would like the fingering charts, you can become a patron of my podcast at the link in the description. This is the video for piano fingerings in 17-tone equal temperament. The two scales I've picked to represent this tuning are Super Pythagorean 7 and Dicot 7. When I play a scale, I'll highlight the notes from the scale in pink. The tonic note will be a slightly darker shade of pink than the other highlighted keys from the scale. I'll play through two octaves to show how fingers cross into the next octave, and or how fingerings can be slightly changed at the ends of the scales to reduce crossing. Super Pythagorean is a seven note scale with five large steps and two small steps. It's the regular temperament name for 17 tones diatonic scale. Because the perfect fifth is slightly large of a Pythagorean, or perfect fifth, we call it Super Pythagorean. It's the albatonic scale of this 17-tone layout, because you can play it on the white keys, like the C major scale in 12 equal. The large steps span 3 degrees of 17, while the small steps span 1 degree of 17. I'll be playing this mode, the traditional Ionian, or major mode. 3-3-1, Since Super Pythagorean is a 7-note scale, we can use fingerings from 12-tone equal temperaments diatonic scales. Only fingerings from 12 equals major scales are needed to play 17 equals respective major scales in every key. Nearly all of the diatonic scales here use their analogous major scale fingerings in 12 tone equal temperament, except for D sharp major and A sharp major. D sharp major uses the fingering from D flat major, and A sharp major uses the fingering from B major.
Dicot is a seven note scale with four large steps and three small steps. It's like a diatonic scale, but scale degrees two, three, six, and seven are all in between major and minor. The large steps span three degrees of 17, while the small steps span two degrees of 17. I'll be playing that indicated neutral mode. Two, three, two, three, two, three, two. Since dicot is also a seven note scale, we can use fingerings from 12 tone equal temperaments diatonic scales. Only fingerings from 12 equals diatonic scales, some major and some minor, are needed to play 17 equals dicot scales in every key. Most of the dicot scales here use their analogous major scale fingerings in 12 tone equal temperament, except for G flat, A flat, E flat, B flat, and A sharp. A flat, E flat, and B flat dicot just use their respective natural minor fingerings instead of their major ones. G flat and A sharp dicot both use the fingering from E flat major. Thanks for watching! If you would like to support giant extravagant microtonal cover songs, keyboard arrangements of Easley Blackwood's microtonal etudes, microtonal podcasting, educational videos on ear training and modes, or my composition, you can donate to my Now and Zen Patreon account. I need 60 patrons by December 1st, 2020 to continue my microtonal podcast, Now and Zen. It's always appreciated. This video is made possible by my Zen Harmonic patrons, as well as my Zen Harmonic gods, Adam Fries, Matthew Sheeran, Vincenzo Sicarella, Kit DeGay, Hector McGuffin, Christopher Bailey, Leland O. Weigel, Amy Coleman, Joel Weigel, Tina Harmon Carteau, and the Brass Whisperer. You are all so appreciated. 
Thank you for funding these educational resources and what I do. See you in the next video.